So if you haven't had a FIDO completed, you need to talk to your property mentor and get a FIDO completed. So I've got one put together here just to illustrate, and there are large numbers in here to show you how the FIDO works um, for our members. So we put in all the details of your own home on this uh, first tab. Okay. You like Millie Air, do you, Kai? Excellent. And ultimately, the FIDO should show us three things. Now, I mentioned before, uh, with the FIDO, um, and a lot of members, they think 80, 90%, we can just start living on it. But however, before you start drawing on your um, portfolio, your, your equity initial drawdown has, has to be between 30 and 50 cent of your equity increase. So there's three key rules. So if you take anything from today, take these three key rules down. So when you get your FIDO, you can look at um, what your property mentor has done with your FIDO. So when you start drawing down, your LVR level needs to be below 60%. So we heard Kevin say, potentially LODOC and, and NODOC loans are coming back more plentiful, second tier lenders coming back in the market. So the reason our um, LVR is set at 60%, so on your FIDO there's a red line and I'll show you on the next slide. You need to be down below the 60%, so down around 30 to 50, so you can borrow up to 60%. Because you can get some borrowing currently up to 60% LODOC. And your equity to debt growth ratio. So your equity rate of increase, so what your portfolio is growing, is greater than the debt rate of increase, so what you're drawing out. So you don't want to be drawing out more than what your portfolio is growing. So they're the three rules. And we'll show you a photo how that all comes into play. So when you put your photo together with your property mentor, you put in your portfolio. So you can name all your properties. Year of purchase, purchase price. We probably need to do a bit more training on this with property mentors, but I always separate the line of credit out. And in the FIDO, we have to put a one in to uh, calculate the debt, and you have to put 50 years doubling, so it never doubles. So you can factor it in if you've got, got to um, apply to each property, but I put it in separate. So then you've got your pur purchase price, Years to double gets a bit distorted, but I've gone 10 years on all the properties. Your debt and your value. And in the retirement year, the, if there's a shortfall, we need to factor in what that shortfall might be. So if you're going to live on money and you've still got a shortfall in your portfolio, you need to factor that in as well. So in this example, we're going financially independent in 15 years. 3% inflation rate. I always go a little bit higher on interest rates in case we've got an interest rate rise. Uh, Troy did show CBA 15 years. They don't actually put that on their website anymore. They only put up to five years. So I talked to Kevin, bef Kevin before. We think uh, CBA um, economists aren't really sure what's happening with interest rates long term. So you go to the CBA website, have a look at that. Um, so the LVR, 60%, so you can see here, that's always been there, always since we had FIDO. So members who start drawing on their portfolio above 60% aren't really following Kevin's retirement plan. So they want to live on $90,000 in 15 years. At 3% inflation, $140,000 would be required to draw down. So can I do it? In 2026, drawing down $140,000, portfolio value, debt, your LVR, so debt as a percent of your portfolio, 39%. I can borrow 2.5 million and 7.5 million in equity, and my equity is growing at 622,000. And this is the LVR graph for the left brain people. I think it's left brain. Um, you can see the spikes when you're buying properties, so your LVRs go higher, but over time you want that to continue down and remain below the 60%. So people like phone book numbers. So in the back of the program, your property worth 500,000 now in 10 years time, 2021, worth a million dollars. So you can see that your, your portfolio is doubling every 10 years on each property. Your line of credit stays constant as one, so we, that's why we put it in as 50 years. So we need to capture that debt in your FIDO. So in 2026, when we start drawing on this portfolio, 140,000, 
we've factored in $70,000 for the shortfall. So I actually have to draw down $210,000. So that's your portfolio value. So this line was pretty much on the previous graph that's on the uh, independence tab. So when you get your FIDO from your property mentor. LVR, 39%. That's the equity. How much you can borrow. Equity increase. So you can see over time, even drawing down 3% inflation each year, drawing these, these amounts, LVR is coming down. Also illustrated in the summary graph, so you can see when you're accumulating properties, your debt's higher than your equity. So this is ideally what you want to see, your portfolio value accelerating away with your equity away from your red debt line. And this is the amount you're withdrawing, the little dotted line. Quite small compared to your portfolio value. So like we said, diversify around the country because you capitalise on different markets where your property's growing, other uh, markets are a bit flat. These are the stages we talk about, accumulation stage. So while you're buying properties, you can see the spikes in your, your LVR going higher. Then you consolidate, so you need to sit there at some stage and wait for your properties to grow, and that takes time. And then when you get to the end, you harvest. So you've got your portfolio size. Um, you know you can start drawing on that equity. So this is your retirement funds. So the money you're going to draw out. And this is your equity increase. LVR. So we said before, this red line has always been on our FIDO, 60%. So your LVR needs to be below 60%, currently at 39%. So it's a bit of plug for Kevin's book. So in Kevin's book, there's also chapter 14. You can do a calculation. So if you want to retire in 2026 during that 140,000, you're expecting your properties to double in 10 years, which is a 7.2% capital growth. The factor is 13.9, so you'd need to have portfolio equity of 1.94 million equity. So apparently this portfolio has got 7.5 million, only need 1.9, so it's starting to look good. So how do these rules that I just showed you before, the three rules apply to this scenario? So your equity increase, so we said your initial drawdown has to be 30 to 50% of your equity increase. So this is the equity increase, 622,000, 30%, 186, 50%, 311. We're only drawing 140,000, which is 22.5%. So big tick for rule number one on this portfolio. It can sustain drawing 140,000 out. Number two, your LVR levels below 60%, around 30 to 50 and in decline. 36 in decline. Ticks the second rule. Equity rate of increase is greater than the debt rate of increase. So equity rate of increase, 622, debt rate of increase, 210, ticks that. So this portfolio meets those three rules. And for the, like I said, for the left brain people, you can see there, equity rate of increase is your green equity line, is greater than your debt rate of increase. So quite simple, if you take those three rules away, and when you go back, Talk to your property mentor, and this is the form you need to fill out for your property mentor. The FIDO worksheet. So you put in the, your details, and your property mentor and your branch manager. All the details of your own home. So your purchase price, current value, etc., of your property, and then your portfolio details. So all your investment properties, year of purchase, purchase price, current value, debt. At your estimation of years to double, so your property mentor can't give advice. So you need to look at all the information and like what Troy showed before, we can see what each market's doing. So you, you have to say what your property is doubling and what you think your cash flow might be in retirement. So if you've got a long time, if you're a young investor and you've got 20, 30 years, your portfolio should be neutral or po possibly cash flow positive. And then your, your variables. So in the example I had at 90,000, 
uh, in 15 years' time to be financially independent. Inflation rate of 3%, interest rate 85 So you can estimate those figures for your property mentor and you can also give some different variables to see how your portfolio comes out. So short, sharp and sweet, three rules if you remember those. Um, I did the, the hands up before Kevin, probably a third of the room haven't had a photo done. So homework for everyone is to go, get, go home and talk to your property mentor, ask for the FIDO worksheet. You've taken down those three rules hopefully. When you get the result back from your property mentor, apply those rules to your own uh, FIDO. So that's uh, Kevin's world class uh, unique uh, program. So uh, available through your property mentor free of charge. Thanks for your time and hopefully you get a little bit out of that in creating wealth.